why don't you tell me a little bit about what we're doing here? Well, this is my first time having my work here in Port Stanley, and it's my first time having space on a wall to be able to sell my work. Painting. It's an acrylic, it's mixed media, it's got some gauze, it's got some paper towel. But uh, when you use acrylic, the good thing about acrylic is you can go over it. You can make mistakes, you can change your mind, you can repaint a section, whereas if you were using watercolor or some other kind of medium, you wouldn't be able to do that. So there's areas that may have been painted over a couple times to get the composition I wanted, to get the value contrast I wanted. And with acrylic, you can have sections that are a little bit thinner, sections that are a little bit thicker. Um, and they really can treat it almost as an oil or as a watercolor. So working with acrylics allows you lots of flexibility. So every week I just, I try to have some focus and some goals and I try to say, you know, what's next at the studio because you can have big goals and you can't accomplish them. But if you break it down into what are small steps you can take each week, then you can try and keep on track and and make sure that you know each week you're trying to you know, you're trying to get things done so what's next each week and then you cross things off and then you add them to the next week so i just always write down my goals for the week to keep me focused oh so these are things that i found on the beach at a off an island in the exumas great or great exuma bahamas and these are all pieces that have been washed up on shore different kinds of fishing line different kind of plastics um lots of different pieces and there's lots of plastics in here as well. So these are all things that I saved from going back into the ocean, but things that we use um, that don't really go away. They don't leave the earth. So I, was, I got this idea because I really love the colors. And I know it's garbage, but I really love the colors of the, the fisherman's line and how, you know, depending on whether it's been in the sand or if it's been buried or if it's been in the sun, the colors change and I was very interested in the impact of the color and how it can impact the artwork. And for me, um, there's a beauty in them as well as the fact that they are, you know, things that have been thrown away. Also trying to use these materials to, you know, highlight them and show them for what they are and make them somehow seem prettier. Out and I picked pieces that would have good value contrast and high intensity contrast so that people could see the difference but it's about using the materials in a way that shows them off and shows off the beauty of their pieces otherwise this is just a piece of plastic but if you use it in this way it draws attention to it and you can see the beautiful color variation and the things that are in it so this in the way that I've developed this composition it really reminds me of the images you see of the the vortexes in the ocean where there's garbage swirling and this is it reminds me of that i like the use of text sometimes as long as the text isn't going to overtake the painting i like using text um, this one i put right in the center of the painting which you're not supposed to do that's breaking the rules but i liked it it's the center of the city sort of going from top to bottom and going through everything and, and seeing it all at once so um, that's how I've organized it. I like when things like this start to happen that are almost ghost images in behind. Those are fun. I haven't figured out how to solve this one yet but I am determined to try to figure out how to use cardboard because it's a really cool material and it's abundant really. We'll sometimes use water to get some drip marks. Things start to mix on the canvas a little bit, which is fun. That's fabulous. That's a great little spot. I arrange them just so that they are 
are somewhat symmetrical and have, you know, again, that still following art guidelines, a nice composition, nice shape overall, and the sizes are, are matching up. So just wanted to have a lot of different ones. I've got collage, I've got acrylic paintings, mixed media. Um, yeah, so just organizing them so people can see them easily and, and that they all look like they're from the same artist. And I know a painting's done when I look at it and there's no section that annoys me. So as long as something annoys me, I keep working on it. I could put a personal plug in for Weld Bond. <laughs> Weld Bond, excellent for affixing anything. Some of the drip marks I'll leave, some of them I won't want to keep. Just depending. I'll keep working on it. And someday when it's done, maybe I'll frame it. And give it to my favorite daughter. Which is? <laughs> You can fix anything. <laughs> so here I was hanging up a piece of art and it actually um, destroyed the canvas. So now I'm thinking, how do I fix it? And guess what? That works out really well. So they might go to the psychoactive red here, the psychoactive red there, and then they might sort of go through. So it all depends what people are looking for. People, people see things differently. Okay. Um, and do my work so that I schedule in time to paint and time to create because it's easy to let that get away from you and then you don't have anything that you've accomplished in a week and you know how you live your life is how you live your days so each day you have to try to do something toward your goals so that's the importance of just writing every week what I what I want to accomplish <laughs>